Enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Recon is all about intel and counter intel play. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win or focus on taking out enemy score streaks for the team. All of our weapons, gear, and gadgets in multiplayer have been intentionally designed through that lens of supporting these play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode, which we're happy to announce is returning with Black Ops 6. Now I said we're only getting a taste of MP today, but of course that means you're gonna get some early details on maps. We're happy to announce that we will be launching with 16 all new MP maps. We've got 12 core 6v6 and four strike maps, which can be played as 6v6 or 2v2. What do players like? What do we know that they want? So we're back to our classic three lane maps. We've got fast, frenetic experiences, and we have that balance with more medium size, like better for hardcore pacing to keep the action flowing, but still have meaningful decisions for the player to make. The maps have their own stories, and we have multiplayer taking place after the campaign, after you finish it, so don't want to get into too many spoilers there, but you'll experience some of those locations through the multiplayer lens. We've covered a lot today, but couldn't leave you without giving you just one more thing. Round Base Zombies is back, and we're picking up the Dark Aether storyline where we left it. We're excited to announce that there will be two brand new maps available at launch, with a curated mix of fan-favorite features and new elements to discover. For those new to Zombies, it's our unique take on the cooperative horde mode, where every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades, deadly enemies, and tons of secrets to uncover. The legacy of Zombies is incredibly important to Treyarch, and we are so proud of what the mode is bringing to players in Black Ops 6. As you've heard today, the innovations and movement systems will also be coming to Zombies. Plus, there are many additional zombie-specific features, both new and returning. This is going to be a truly epic return for round based Zombies. Be on the lookout for more intel coming later this year. Steph interviewed AB Mark. Now we know we only gave you a little taste of multiplayer here today, so make sure to mark your calendars for our worldwide multiplayer reveal event at Call of Duty Next on August 28th. Make sure to stay tuned for details and watch your favorite streamers get hands-on Black Ops 6 so you can be prepped and ready to jump into our MP beta and feel Omni movement for yourself. We'll be sharing so much more about Black Ops 6 in the coming months and look forward to seeing your reactions and your feedback from our open beta coming up this fall and into launch. And it's not just about launch because the team is already focused on delivering a ton of content in the live seasons, which we'll be sharing more about. Am I allowed to talk about Warzone yet? No. Our goal on Black Ops 6 was, and still is, to make something that is the best work we've ever done, and frankly, the most fun to play. To do that, we deconstructed all of our gameplay, our systems, and content plans, and repeatedly asked how something could be better. In some cases, that led us to huge innovations like Omni Movement, where we're now allowing players to move how real people and operators move. In other cases, it led us back to some of our classic systems like Prestige, then taking that classic system through the ringer and making updates and improvements. Across our weapons, gear, operators, maps, and more, a huge push has been to hit the highest visual and audio fidelity possible the campaign tells an all-new Black Ops story where you're forced to go rogue and are being hunted by the teams that trained you. On top of that, the team is really focused on mission and engagement variety. Multiplayer is a key ingredient in the DNA of Black Ops, and hopefully, in this sneak peek, it was clear that every single part of the MP game loop will be improved and better than ever, from movement to shooting to footsteps to engagement systems to death. And last, but definitely not least, the triumphant return of round based zombies. There is so much more to share across all three game modes before the game officially launches on October 25th.
On behalf of the entire team, we can't wait for you to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6.